So what is Achilles tendonitis? What is Achilles tendinopathy? Tendinitis means tendon inflammation. That's what that word means. Tendinopathy means tendon pathology or condition of. Tendinitis is something that happens in the acute stages of having Achilles pain. The Achilles is a tendon that sits on the back of your calf and attaches to your calcaneus right here. This pen would illustrate the Achilles tendon. So a tendonitis happens early on when there's inflammation in the back of the tendon. If there's overuse, if you run too far, if you do too much speed work, typically an overuse Achilles injury looks like having it on both sides or bilateral Achilles pain. Tendinopathy or a pathology of the tendon happens once that tendon has been chronically irritated. After two or three months, you can start to call an Achilles injury a tendinopathy or Achilles tendinopathy. You treat those two injuries very differently. There's certainly some overlap between a tendonitis and a tendinopathy in terms of what it may be coming from. Overuse, running too much, running too fast, not having enough rest is a big one. Run form issues, the wrong shoes, not doing enough calf strengthening. Those are all some things that could contribute to this. The important thing is that a tendonitis needs rest and a tendinopathy needs remodeling. And you get that from strengthening. So we're talking about a classic Achilles tendonitis tendinopathy right now, which is basically where you have pain in the mid substance of the Achilles tendon. We're not talking about an insertional Achilles injury. I'll do a video on that later. Insertional Achilles tendonitis or tendinopathy is when you have pain on the back of the calcaneus right here. Classic Achilles tendonitis or tendinopathy is when you have pain in the mid-substance of the Achilles tendon. So if it's acute, if it's early on, rest is indicated, but also figuring out where this injury came from in the first place. If it's been chronic, rest is typically not gonna help very much. In those cases, what I recommend is a period of progressive strengthening or loading. It's what the evidence supports. We get that through eccentric strengthening of the calves, which in turn strengthens the Achilles tendon and allows the tendon to start to remodel itself to become stronger and more resilient and actually create new collagen and fiber molecules in that tendon to start to transition it to a healthy tendon. You cannot do that with rest alone. Your body is not going to change very much with rest alone if there's been chronic Achilles tendinopathy. You need a period of strengthening to get that tendon to remodel. That's the important part of the rehab is not to miss out on that strengthening. I see a lot of Achilles issues. If you think about the muscles that run through your Achilles are your calf muscles, your gastroc and your soleus. Research suggests that 60 to 80% of your propulsion when you run comes from those calf muscles. For muscle to be utilized that much when you're running, there are almost no runners out there doing calf strengthening. So calf strengthening is a very important injury prevention tool. But when you've got Achilles, calf Achilles, whether it's missubstance or insertional Achilles issues, calf strengthening is oftentimes indicated However, it needs to be done appropriately or it can just make the issue worse. There's some good evidence for rocker bottom shoes to offload Achilles injury. It certainly helps. I see a lot of run form impairments contribute to Achilles tendinopathy. And again, I certainly see a lack of calf strengthening contribute to these injuries as well. In terms of treating this issue, I certainly recommend calf strengthening and Achilles strengthening in most cases. I like to look at run form and I like to look at shoes. As far as taking a patient out of an injured state in returning them to full return to sport, I can't give a blanket for this injury as to how to do that. There's just truly too many scenarios and circumstances to go over. Generally, there does need to be a period of deloading and recovery that may look like complete rest if it's acute. That may look like just taking off a day or two to let the Achilles recover after a run before running again. Everybody is different with this injury. That's where you've got to really seek professional help to get out of this injury long term. This is definitely treatable, definitely fixable. We have a lot of success with this injury. The importance is finding the driver and addressing that and acknowledging the problem and giving your body the rest and recovery it needs. If you've been struggling with this injury, we can help you with this at the Running PTs.